Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is going to be a bit of a different video than the ones I normally make, because I really wanted to make a response to iDubs in his I Miss the Old iDubs video. It really shows a lack of self-awareness and how he misconstrues himself of what he used to be. Now, before I go over his points and why I disagree with them, I just want to point out that I used to be a huge iDubs fan. I never really watched him back when he would collaborate with Filthy Frank, but around 2018, 2019, I did binge watch his Kickstarter crafts and his content caught videos in the background when I was working on other things. He used to have a really edgy sense of humor, but now he's trying to distance himself from all that and do other things, and on paper, I don't have an issue with him doing that if that's what he wants. But in practice, he's been handling the situation very poorly, and former fans like myself have been critiquing him on it. So, the major thing that iDubs brings up in his video for me is that he denounces his content cops. Basically, he regrets ever making them, he feels like they were cultivating an audience of hate, and that they were essentially being used by people to act like bigots. The thing is, though, these content cops weren't meant to be a total reflection of him. Basically, for those of you guys who never watched any of the content cops, basically the whole shtick is that he would talk about a popular YouTuber who really fucked up with a video or made hypocritical content, and criticize them by rubber banding the things they do back at them. And contrary to what old Ian thinks now, in my opinion, every one of his content cops did that well. Jinx Reload was a talentless hack, Keemstar had no filter, Leafy was being a bully, Ricegum was flexing his wealth at impressionable children, and Tana Mojo was calling out iDubs for saying the n-word, when she herself used it in the past. And I think I speak for any former fan of iDubs that it was a pussy move to apologize for the Tana Mojo content cop. He wasn't harassing her or anything. He just went to a public event that she hosted and said the exact same thing that she said for shock value, that in her own words, just meant something like friend or homie. And for anyone who didn't see the clip of Tana saying the n-word, she wasn't trying to be all like, what's up my n-word with an a at the end. Like, she straight up said you fucking n-word with a hard r in blatant anger. And she tried to put a spin on it to make herself look like the good guy and iDubs the bad guy. And if Tana just stayed in her lane and didn't try to call out iDubs, then the content cop on her wouldn't even exist and nobody would have a reason to complain about it. Now, I'm not going to deny that there were some fans who took all the edgy things that iDubs has done very literally and used that to justify being a bigot, but that wasn't the reason why iDubs made those videos, and obviously he would never condone those people in the first place. Like, okay, if Ian was just a purely political channel justifying the use of the n-word, then I could see why he would need to be making a video calling himself out. But iDubs was a comedian. He didn't make these videos out of hate or as a call to action like he's saying. And if you, the viewer, are the type of person who doesn't care about the context or the intent, and you think it's mature for iDubs to speak out against his old edgy content for only this reason, then you're missing the point on why former fans are upset and you're part of the reason why comedy is dying. I'm sorry to break it to you like this, but the whole point of comedy is to push boundaries, and if comedians don't push boundaries, all you're left with is vanilla comedians like Amy Schumer and Hannah Gadsby who just play it safe so that nobody gets upset. And just the fact that iDubs is even making the comparison to his old content as bigotry tells me he's either lying to try and be a sellout to make the advertisers for his new YouTube boxing thing happy, or he's just a complete idiot. And for the record, I'm making the case that iDubs is just being an idiot, because as far as I know, there's no actual proof that he's trying to do otherwise. But I mean, think about it. If iDubs has really changed as a person, then all he would have to do is just be like, I don't want to keep making the same content anymore because I've outgrown it and I find it cringy to keep going with it. Like, he would still lose his core target audience, probably, but he would at least keep his dignity and make the videos that he actually enjoys. And who knows? Maybe his old fans, including me, would resub if they didn't feel insulted by him, and his new content was actually good. Unfortunately, he keeps shitting where he eats, and it's sad to watch. Now, let's compare iDubs to Filthy Frank for a moment. Filthy Frank made edgy content too, with words that people born after the 1900s would find offensive. But around 2018, he stopped because it was affecting his mental health and he wanted to pursue other things. Then he got a record deal, made a hit single, and the rest is history. But despite how much he's distanced himself from his Filthy Frank persona, he still honors what he used to do that got him famous in the first place. And that's the type of mental dissonance that iDubs doesn't get. He can still distance himself from his old edgy content if that's what he truly wants to do, without saying that it was bigoted or calling his old fans, I think it was uh, basement dwelling Neanderthals, I think is how he put it. iDubs and Filthy Frank weren't being bigots. 
they were using bigotry to mock the people who were being bigots themselves, and it was funny. I know to some people it wasn't because they just don't like the humor or they don't get the shtick, but that's the beautiful thing about comedy. It's subjective, and you don't have to watch them if you don't like it. So Idebs denouncing his content cops was the main thing that inspired me to make this response, but there were some other small things he said that I don't agree with either. So he goes on to bring up a point about how a trans person wanted a picture with him and wasn't sure how to approach him because they thought that he would object to it based on the type of videos he made, and that made Idebs feel weird for some reason. And I don't really have much to say about this other than I think it's strange that he would give that any kind of forethought. Like, if I were in Idebs shoes in that situation, I would just say, nah, I don't hate anyone, I just riff on people, come on up. And then we would take a selfie and go about our day. Done. Easy. There's no need to let other people define who you are or what you do like that. So one other thing is that he said that his wife has gotten so much hate online and that he feels responsible for it. And all I have to say to that is, get over it. I'm not saying that the hate or harassment that he and his wife gets are justified, but my brother and sister in Christ, you are both public figures. Popular YouTubers get death threats from randos in the comment sections of their videos every single day. Hell, even recently one of the voice actors from the Resident Evil 4 remake got death threats just because people thought she was a horrible actress. So to conclude this video, iDubs, your old content was completely fine, and you're never going to win the war on trolls, dude. I know that you want to move on from the edgy content you made in the past, but if you have to insult the people who were fans of your content in the past, and denounce what you used to do as quote-unquote bigotry in order to move on, then that to me shows a complete lack of self-awareness. Accept the fact that you're a public figure, and trust me, whether it's me critiquing you like I am now in a YouTube video, or some throwaway YouTube account like xxsnortmath360xx, with a picture of Patrick Bateman as a profile pic typing KYS, you're always going to be laughed at by someone just based on the fact that you let your wife strip naked on camera for other people to see. That's just all there is to it. Just own it and move on. Basically, I completely disagree with how you denounce your content cops. I disagree with your apology to Tana Mojo. I disagree with you calling your old fans basement dwelling Neanderthals. And I disagree with you taking responsibility for your wife getting harassed. When she herself is a public figure just like you. But I think I can speak as a former fan of your content that you really need a reality check. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. The script for my Final Fantasy X review is basically done at this point, and you can expect to see it sometime by the end of next week. I don't care whether you're white or black, a man or a woman, gay or straight, I love you all. Peace.